Welcome Richard Green from the University of Arizona and you are the interim director of the International Astronomical Union CPS, the Center for the Protection of Dark and Quiet Sky from Satellite Constellation Interference. So the dark sky can be considered as a human heritage and also astronomical observations as a form of space exploration. So why is it becoming so important to talk about protecting the sky? We've reached a watershed moment where near Earth space used to be dominated entirely by a few science satellites and a very few communication satellites and some defense activity. Now it is completely dominated by the commercial world launching thousands of satellites to enable broadband communications. So that's a great benefit but it also has the impact of scattering sunlight and producing extra stars that move in the night sky and adding radio noise in places that used to be protected for special observations with radio telescopes. Why is the astronomical professional community being asked to vote for a resolution of uh, this problem and in which terms? So it's important both if we want the cooperation of industry in helping us to solve these problems by making their satellites darker and more quiet in the radio and ultimately to have an international framework and national regulations to make official what the what the companies are now doing on a on a best efforts basis then there needs to be a statement of record from our international professional society saying there is a problem and we encourage companies and governments and astronomers to act together to solve that problem so so this this resolution which we hope will pass or you can edit to say, and which was passed, um, addresses that question and puts the IAU on record saying, this is a real problem and we need to work internationally together to solve it. And how can society uh, be engaged and uh, contribute in protecting the sky? Like everything else, uh, it's got to be a bottom-up effort. Companies and policymakers respond to their customers and their constituents respectively. So if astronomers are willing to talk to the people who influence science policy in their governments, or if they're willing to encourage and what I call green or environmentally uh, supportive behavior of companies that where they can boast, as, you know, we are working with astronomers to solve this problem, then we think that's the best way to actually accomplish these goals because it's always a response to consumer demand. Yeah.